It's Thursday the 5th of March 2020 and we are just in the most beautiful place on earth. Antarctica, we were, we were a million miles away from what we thought would be the effects of corona. We've never seen anything quite like this. Just the speed that everything happened. A week and a half and everything stopped. There were people being denied boarding at airports. Um, there were being people, people denied boarding on connecting flights. People who were stranded were, were scared. And there was people that were crying and sort of didn't know what was going on. We also had a lot of family members, mums, dads, aunties, uncles calling here, not just dealing with the people in Peru, begging us to help them. So all of a sudden over that whole weekend, we'd gone from reasonably free travel in South America to everything being in lockdown. A ship couldn't get in anywhere, people couldn't get out of Peru, and our business you know, just looked like uh, nobody was going to book anything going forward either. To hear the bridge sort of say back, are you serious, is, is this a joke, you know, I think that really sort of illustrated just how, uh, how unprecedented the situation was. Even looking back now, I was overwhelmed about what happened. Uh, I think I slept about four hours in a month. Working on the repatriation flight that we organised was possibly one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in the travel industry. Today, Shamu Adventures is about to become an airline. 